Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check this very small Express LRS 2.4 GHz radio receiver by Flywoo. In case you are not familiar with Express LRS, it's an open source LoRa based long range radio system. Recently it has reached a mature stage and that's why you can see that many companies including Flywoo are manufacturing hardware that supports it. In this video, I'm going to quickly go over the features and specs of this radio receiver, perform a couple of range tests, and give you my feedback after testing it out. First of all, this tiny radio receiver is available in two versions. I'm testing the version which comes with a built-in ceramic antenna, and the other version comes with a dipole antenna similar to this one, and features an IPX antenna connector instead of the ceramic antenna. The only difference between the versions is the antenna and its connector, and the advantages of using an external antenna is that you'll be able to mount it in different orientations, and it should extend the range of the radio receiver. As for its specs, the highlight of this radio receiver is of course its size. The version with the ceramic antenna weighs 0.5 grams, and including a dipole antenna, the radio receiver should weigh around 1.4 grams. In addition, the outer dimensions of the radio receiver are 11.1 by 11 by 2.5 mm, not including the ceramic antenna, and 5.4 mm including it. So this is definitely a very small sized radio receiver, which makes it especially friendly for micro quadcopters, such as the Flywoo Firefly 1S Baby, which I'm currently testing. As for wiring the radio receiver to a flight controller, first of all, its operating voltage is 5 volts, so the plus pad on the radio receiver needs to be connected to a 5V output pad on the flight controller, the ground needs to be connected to ground, and you'll also need to connect the radio receiver to a free UART port on your flight controller, so the TX pad on the radio receiver needs to be connected to an RX pad on the flight controller, the RX to TX, and you need to make sure that you are using the same UART port, and also make sure that you are not wiring RX to RX and TX to TX, as it is a very common mistake. As for configuring the radio receiver under beta flight or similar firmware, first the serial RX switch needs to be enabled next to the UART port that the radio receiver is connected to, and under the radio receiver options in the configuration tab, the serial receiver provider should be set to crossfire. The next thing that you need to do is to update the firmware of the radio receiver as you'd want to make sure that both TX and RX are running the same version, and also because probably by the time that you are going to get the radio receiver, its firmware is going to be outdated. For that you'll need to use the Express LRS configuration tool, in which you'll be able to select the release version that you'd like to flash the radio receiver with, the device category needs to be set to do-it-yourself 2.4 GHz, and the device target to one of the following options, depending on how you'd like to flash the radio receiver. The easiest option, in my opinion, is to use the Betaflight pass-through option, and before hitting the build and flash button, make sure that the Betaflight application is not running, as otherwise you won't be able to flash the radio receiver with the new firmware. In addition, another option for flashing new firmware to the radio receiver is to do it over Wi-Fi. After powering the radio receiver for about 10 seconds, a new Wi-Fi network with the name ExpressLRS RX is going to be generated, and it is going to be indicated by a rapidly flashing blue LED on the radio receiver. In order to update the firmware of the radio receiver, join this Wi-Fi network on your computer or mobile device, and head over to the following address, where you'll be able to upload and flash the new firmware. As for binding the radio receiver with the radio transmitter, after flashing new firmware to the radio receiver, it's going to be automatically in bind mode, so you'll need to simply hit the bind button on the radio transmitter, however in case you need to enter binding mode again, simply refer to the instructions which are linked down below. The next thing that I've done is to connect the Flywo Nano Express LRS radio receiver to the flight controller of this quadcopter, which is equipped with a GPS unit, so, using the beta flight rescue feature option, I was able to push the radio receiver to its limits without having the fear of losing this quadcopter. In all the tests, I've used the beta FPV 2.4 GHz Express LRS radio transmitter, and I set its output power to 25 milliwatts because even though 
in case the output power was increased, the range was increased as well, it would have outperformed my video signal. As you're about to see, I could get pretty far, so this tiny radio receiver is definitely a game changer, especially for smaller quadcopters, because the ones which are equipped with SPI RX receivers are not working well, so in case you've used ones, you are probably got used to losing signal, and it's not going to be the case with this radio receiver, so this is definitely something that you would like to check out, in case you are a tiny whoop lover. In addition, in another video, which is going to be up in the next few days, I've compared the ExpressLRS 2.4 GHz system using this tiny radio receiver with the TBS Tracer, and I could actually push the radio receiver even farther, so stay tuned for the upcoming side-by-side -side comparison video. Now I'm going to show you some flight footage, which was recorded using the DVR of the VTX, and that's why the video that you're going to see is free of video interference. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. In case you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye. Thank you.